T's mom today. My very first football game, my very first any type of activity he's played in since he was in like high uh, middle school. And so this experience this week has been very, you know, uplifting, very outstanding, very emotional. But I'm just taking every moment in as I go. When did you get the word that you were coming out? Wednesday. Bobby sent me a text and said it was official. And so I got hysterical and went to packing, went to get my hair done, my nails done, buying outfits, trying to buy jackets to uh, accommodate the weather here, bring my sister with me, you know, learning everything as far as, you know, the traffic and all that because it's my first time, like, traveling far away from home. And so the whole experience was very, very emotional, but I, at the same time, very fitting. Do you think because he knows you're watching here, do you think he'll be a little more nervous? I thought about that, but I, I told him, you know, just go out, have fun, don't think too much, you know, just do what you normally do. Do you remember the last time you played Pittsburgh in the playoffs? Yes, 80 yard return on the first, <laughs> first play of overtime, ran through the tunnel, they had to go back and get him because they was almost about to get a penalty because he ran off the field and the game was still going. <laughs> so when you got into town today, did you visit with them at all? How, how did yes, we actually, we cooked breakfast this morning together. What you make? We had um, bacon, uh, cheese, eggs, biscuits, and oysters. That's great. <laughs> and was he excited? Did you sense anything out of him? Yes, he was trying to play it all cool, but I know he was glad that I was there. And we was like hugging and kissing and taking pictures and stuff. And he had the gifts brought in, and I was like, like a kid at Christmas. Did you have any idea this kid was destined to be an NFL player? I was believing, and he was believing also there was going to be basketball because basketball is his first love. And when I was pregnant with him, he would always kick and turn around. I said, what are you doing in there? I said, are you playing plays or something? I said, you're going to be great. So I prayed over him when I was pregnant with him, and I'm still praying for him now. And I just thank God that he's where he is today.